What are you doing at school today? Some writing and some playing. And some playing. And you're going to play with your friends. Yeah. Since 2007, I've lost five babies, um, all quite early and within the first trimester, um, with, with bleeding, and each one of those ending up in hospital having to have surgical management. Um, we were lucky enough to have Molly in 2014, um, but that was no means an easy ride. I want to play on that, I think. I think you're a bit big for that one. <laughs> <laughs> It was tough and I'm quite a tough person, I take things in my stride, um, but it was very hard for, for myself and my husband. Um, I think what made it harder was once Molly was born, having a child already and then suffering a miscar miscarriage after Molly, it was heart-wrenching to know that I might not ever be able to give her a sibling um, and also being pregnant and not knowing what to tell your child because you know you're probably going to lose the baby that you're carrying. So a while ago we discovered that at the time of implantation there are specialist cells that will surround the embryo and those cells will serve as biosensors, meaning that they are programmed to either eliminate poor quality embryos or actively support their further development. And we have found that these cells were defective in patients who have multiple miscarriages and that was caused by loss of stem cells in the lining of the womb. So this trial was designed to test if we could use a drug to boost the amount of stem cells in the lining of the womb and improve the quality of the lining at the time of implantation. The trial was not designed to actually measure uh, a reduction in miscarriages, although women who were uh, treated with citagliptin with the drug actually did very very well in their next pregnancy so there's the, the the trial was solely designed to see whether we could elicit the biological effect that we were after and of course the next step now is to do a large-scale clinical trial to see how effective it actually is in preventing future miscarriages in these patients
So we now can increase the stem cells and the next step is to find out whether or not it actually ends in more birth. Uh, lots, obviously all the women in the trial did go on and try and have babies um, and in fact they, in the people who took the citagliptin there were three miscarriages but in the people who took the placebo there were six miscarriages so that shows a possible prevention of miscarriage but obviously with very sl small numbers we're not sure. More complicatedly, nine women had babies in the citagliptin group, but in fact, seven women also had babies just on the placebo. So with that data, we can't possibly say yet whether citagliptin really increases your chance of having a baby. And to know that information, we'd have to recruit hundreds of women, not just a, a tens of women. You do mummy. Oh. Finally started to relax around 30, 30 weeks. Um, and he was born at 37 weeks, nice and healthy. 